What's the Chowchin Chows? GHB HMC, your coach the Everton Napoleons, and welcome to week one of the WPL, the Western Pokemon League. And today we are taking on Jay's Pokemon and, of course, his Long Beach Lombre. So, his team are as follows Victini, Togekiss, Crocodile as a Z attacking mon. Um, Gudra, Seismitoad, Claydol, Mega Pinsir, Manaphy, Raikou as a Z attacking Mon, Linoon as a Z captain, and um, we also have Vileplume as well, capping off the team. So it's an interesting little team here. I'm not sure about the uh, Linoon as a Z captain, but like defensive uh, moves like Z Belly Drum would be very, very scary to deal with. Of course, Belly Drum is very, very scary to deal with in the first place. So yeah, Z Belly Drum would be very, uh, it could be quite scary. But uh, anyway, the, my team are Mew, Scolopede, Arcanine, uh, Haxorus, uh, Alolan Persian, Rotom, Mega Venusaur, Cobalion, uh, Mantime, and of course Rhyperia. My Zemons are Scolopede and Cobalion are my Z attackers, and of course my Z captain is Alolan Persian. So I have uh, the possible chances of things like see parting shot and stuff like that I can work with, but I kind of like really. So those are the teams. Out of the six that we bought though, I bought Haxorus, Mew, uh, Scolopede, uh, Mega Venusaur, my sea captain of um, Elo and Persian, and Rhyperia. And he bought Togekiss, Manaphy, Seismitoad, uh, Crocodile, Mega Pinsir, and his Z Captain of Raikou. Uh, his Z Mon of Raikou. Not his Z Captain, but his Z Mon. So, yeah, this is an interesting team. I really like, uh, I really like the idea of, this, uh, of both teams here. There's a lot of things to work with. Very scary teams. Mega Pinsir is. Oh my god, Mega Pinsir. Uh, Mega Pinsir runs through my team and. There's not really a lot I can do about it. It is so fast and it has such a brutal attack stat and its aerial ability, oh, it's scary. It's scary as hell. But let's see what we try to do in the battle to help out with that uh, and see what happens, eh? Okie dokie, so we start off, he starts off with his Raikou as I start off with Sophie V. Wait. I actually do need the music on, otherwise you can't hear Pokemon Cries. I thought you didn't need the music on. Let me start. Yeah, you know, let, let's keep, let's go on again. Okay, so he starts off with his Raikou, whilst I start off with Sophie, my Alolan Persian. I go for the protect to see what he is going to do, but he decides to set up a substitute, which is kind of annoying. Thing. And here I am uh, thinking, how am I going to get rid of this substitute? I parting shot to uh, remove the stats and go into Tank Abbott, my Rhyperia. As he decides Toxic, and I'm thinking to myself, he could Calm Mind Sweet me for uh, being underneath the substitute. But he switches out into Seismitoad, and I go for the Earthquake, which does reasonable damage. Reasonable damage. He does have the left, which is kind of annoying. I switch out into Venusaur here. Uh, he goes for the Earthquake, which does a little bit of damage, not too much. It is Mega Turn 1, so I do have to Mega if I'm going to stay in. He goes back into his Raikou. I do decide to Mega. And go for the Sludge Bomb, which does reasonable damage and gets the Poison off. Again, kind of sorry about that, but, you know, it does happen. He goes for the Thunderbolts, he gets a critical hit on me, and the Paralyze from the Thunderbolts. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does do the damage. I do get the Giga Drain off, and of course, he's going to die to poison. Good work by Venusaur. Then he goes into his Pinter. I'm switching out of that, I don't want to deal with that. I go into Tank Abbott, my Rhyperia, as he Mega Evolves into his uh, Pinter and Swords Dances. I don't like that either. 
So I'm trying to get something done. He goes for the earthquake, sadly he is faster, and he destroys the hell out of me. I go into turbo here, my uh, Scullipede. Go for the uh, uh, go for the rock slide. He lives the rock slide and gets flinched. I really wish I'd packed Stone Edge, actually, because Stone Edge would have killed. Goes for the quick attack, super effective. I eat my Cobra Berry, I live, and I take down the uh, Mega Pincer with one more rock slide. Uh, one more rock slide. And get the speed boost. He goes into Croak. As I go for the Mega Horn, it leaves him on 15%. Sadly, it didn't kill, and he kills me with Pursuit. Here I go into a Lone Persian, as he switches out into his uh, uh, Seismitoad. I go for the Foul Play, it does quite a bit of reasonable damage to the Seismitoad. I was trying to go for it on uh, other Pokemon, really. Here I go for the Sea Parting Shot. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for this here, but... Uh, and I went back into Venusaur. I could have just like gone into Haxorus at this point, maybe. That probably might have been the better play, if anything. But like, it's. I thought this was still a good play. He goes for the Earthquake here. Doesn't do a lot of damage to Venusaur. I do get off the Giga Drain. And of course, kill off the Seismitoad. He goes into his Togekiss here. And I, I try my hardest to get something off on him, but I get paralyzed. If I got the I was going for the sludge bomb. If I got the sludge bomb off, it would have been, I think I would have got him. I think I would have got him if I got the sludge bomb off there. So he takes down my Mega Venusaur. I go into Haxorus. I set the substitute. He goes for the Dazzling Gleam, kills my substitute, which is kind of annoying. I go for the Poison Jack. It does a lot of damage, but takes him down to 32% and another Dazzling Gleam sadly kills me. Which is annoying. Here I go into Origin, my Mew. Hoping to try and finish the rest of them off with the Ice Beam. He lives an Ice Beam and lives on free, which is kind of annoying. I don't really have too much else here, so Ice. Uh, uh, so I eject button switch out into uh, Sophie. I go for the Power Gem, finishing off his Tiger Kiss finally. I kind of wish I'd packed mute, uh, U turn or a uh, grass type move or grass knot for this mana fee, really. He decides to try and set up the tail close here. I'm telling him you don't need to sweep me, you don't need to do this, but he does it anyway. I'm not going to stop him from doing it. He goes to the dazzling gleams, and of course, um, he takes out my uh, Persian. And all I've got left is Mew. Mew doesn't have Giga Drain, so I've got nothing left that Mew can do. And sadly, Mew dies to a Scold here. And that is the end of the fight. He had... It was a really good fight. I thought I had him for a bit, but honestly, really good fight. Thank you, Jay's Pokemon, for that fight. It was absolutely amazing. And next week, we take on the Lander Lanterns. Yeah, another person who likes Lantern. So, yeah, it's going to be quite an interesting match. But anyway, we hope to bounce back. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, always remember, it's a grand old team to play for. It's a grand old team to support. And if you know your history... It's enough to make your heart go for We don't care what the other side say Why would we care? Cause we only know that there's gonna be a show When the Empoleons are there When the Empoleons are there And until next time, I'm just BH Games and I am out. See you again!